Aries, Aries, Aries. Did I say Aries or Sagittarian? So Aries, um, communication, communication, communication is going to be the key. There's a lot that is going on and it's all about communication. Whatever the issue and the situation is, it's about communication that is going on in this month. And when we look at the situation is that there is no clarity that is happening. Um, people are not seeing what is happening. I see some of you are looking um, with something over your eyes because you're not seeing exactly what is transpiring. So a lot of you Aries uh, are caught up uh, in some issues and some situation. It's all about communication. So communication is here and it says, I effectively communicate um, clarity um, and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goal. So whatever that is happening and transpiring, communication is going to be the key. And you have to be aware of this because this is what is going to be affecting your world and your life. So however you're looking at this, it has to be and it is going to be about communication. So in whatever form and however you are um, communicating, it's going to be where you're going to be have to be making the right choices in your communication in this month because a lot is transpiring so let's see the nine of pentacles is in reverse whatever is happening and transpire you can see the energy of the nine of pentacles in reverse and i see a judgment call that is coming up um for you um aries so judgment call about some money and I see here at the top, some of you are in some financial hardship in um, this month of July. And I see the energy of uh, the house is in reverse. Now, whatever the issue and the situation is, I see some thing is that some of you are walking on, um, it's as if you're walking on a line with your 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 eyes closed okay so you're not seeing where you're going and some of you are like going through a, a situation with your eyes closed and you need to um reverse this and remove the blindfolds especially you men 50 years and older whatever is transparent you have to remove the blindfolds because you're going through um this month with blindfolds on so I see um, some information is going to be coming out about a whole lot of money and it's going to be affecting you Aries and it's going to create a burden because this burden was created by a cancer person. So whoever this cancer person is, is a young Pisces cancer scorpion that has created a whole lot of burdens and issue for you Aries. Whoever this person is could be a colleague or someone um who and the energy of your work especially for you men your business uh, um is in some problems and it's as if you men are not seeing the direction to take to get out of this problem and the situation that is a transpiring so you got to be aware of um how you're moving forward because some of you um a taurus had created a whole lot of issues for some of you or you together has worked with a taurus that has created a whole lot of issues for you guys so you got to be aware so it is no goal for business no goal for a new start no goal um to apply for a new job it's um it's um it's it's this month for you aries is a no goal for, to start anything okay it, it's just a really no go is a lot of an issue a lot of things that is going to be coming up that is going to be creating imbalances in your financial world and it has to do with a company especially people who have their company and their business um whatever is happening and transpiring i see transition is going to be coming up and communication is the only thing that is going to be helping out you aries because you're going through some uh, financial instability in your world so it is um it is it's no positive um um month for you guys in business and with your finance because of uh, whatever issues and situation a bank some of you are going to be having an issue with a bank or in a financial institution i see that they're going to be holding on on some of you, you your money for whatever the reason is i see that some of you aries are dealing with some hardship where a bank is going to be holding on on your money um some of you whatever is transpiring at the top what we're seeing is hardship financial hardship for you aries and financial hardship is because a bank has 
hold on on your money because they have realized some inconsistency some form of inconsistency whether it's on your part or on a nervous person point now as i said before business is not so good for some of you not all of you um it's the problems is only coming up in a business reading if i didn't say anything but a lot of you are going to be dealing with gemini's a lot of you are going to be dealing with legal issues a lot of you are dealing with your company some of you could have gotten caught up in a situation where a whole lot of money was uh, stolen loss or something like that then we are seeing the energy of hardships and um, a whole lot of financial hardships and burdens, uh, financial hardship and burdens, a lot of you areas are going to be working with and dealing with in this month. So you got to be aware of uh, where you are putting out your energies uh, because what you're going to be realizing is that whoever this uh, young lady is, is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, have created these burdens and situation for you, Aries. Uh, and what you're seeing here is that. Uh, the result from some issue in the past is coming back to affect you, Aries, now in this month of July, in the future. So there is a whole lot where we're looking at some form of instability. And the instability on the work floor is that some of you, Aries, was caught up in a, um, some group or networking because I see a Virgo is holding on. And a Virgo is calling um, out on you um, because of some false uh, thing that was created. And a Virgo, um, a judgment call is coming down on a Virgo. So is this Virgo um, a colleague, um, a co-worker, or is this Virgo your boss or supervisor? Whatever is transpiring, I see a Virgo is... Um, a judgment call came down on a Virgo or a Virgo is blowing the whistle on some of you Aries, especially Aries with business. I see a Virgo is going to blow the whistle. Some of you had collaborated with a Sagittarian and a young Pisces Cancer and a Scorpion person. And I see judgment calls are coming down and I see truths are coming out. So there was some form of miscommunication and this is why you have to use the energy of communication in order to facilitate you moving further to resolve whatever the issue is between this co-worker this business partner you a business people are going to be having some issues with your business whatever that has been happening and transpire i see problems is coming up in business with um you guys because there is some form of uh, um transition that is transpiring in your your company or um i see a whole lot of you are going to be um like receiving notice of uh, um your business is ending okay so be aware of this aries because a lot of you if you didn't start your business on a positive uh, um positive way if you cut corners to start your business, it is coming back to affect your business at this time. So, you know, be aware and be um, careful of what is transpiring. Some of you, um, Aries, uh, Gemini is going to be um, throwing you under the bus. I see you, Aries, dealing with a Gemini and a Taurus. Whoever this Gemini and this Taurus, a Gemini and a Taurus. But I see that a Taurus and a Virgo in a in a in a company is going to be blowing the whistle on some of you um areas however they're blowing the whistle they're speaking up uh, of something okay so let's say that you're supposed to have this review they're going to be giving you a bad review so be aware of a virgo and a taurus in a corporation because they're going to be giving you some bad review some of you a burden is created by a sagittarian whoever the sagittarian person is as a work together with a young Pisces person in order um, to create and facilitate something in the past that is coming back in the present and is going to be affecting you. So as you look at the two, especially at the, this, this fourth week here, you're dealing with a lot of issue. A lot of burden is, is coming up in four weeks for you, Virgos. And the, vir the, 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 the burdens are created by... A situation where a um this judgment call that is coming up is coming from 
three people working against you. Okay, three people working against you. And the three people is a Taurus, a Virgo, and a Scorpion. And I see a Scorpion is going to be throwing some of you under the bus. So be aware of this. Whoever a Libran is, the Libran is looking at the situation from outside. But the Libran have also given up some of you Aries. And the Libran um, I throw some of you Aries under the bus a couple months ago. So go back and listen to the monthly readings. And now you're seeing that whatever this issue and the situation is, you are coming in some financial problem with your business for some of you. And some of you are coming out of some financial problems where if some of you were waiting for a new contract, this contract is not going to be signed. And I see that it's going to be creating a lot of financial burdens for you, um, Aries. So however this is happening and transpiring, you Aries are going to be coming to a stage where a lot of financial burden is creating. And it is because of a young Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person. So be aware of this. I want to say in order this month have five weeks and in order to find out how it is going to be affecting you, check out the weekly readings. If this is your first time, thank you for being here. Thank you um, for um, uh, coming to the channel. Sorry for the bad news. Not all the time. Sometimes things change. Not all of you are going to be affected by this. Only people who are affected by these people and these situation, especially businessmen, you're going to be um, um, hugely affected by the issues and situation that is coming up and transpiring. And I see a whole lot of you businessmen and um, Aries that has uh, created some false sort of uh, contracts or some false sort of uh, um, connection in the past. This is going to be affecting you in the future. And I see a Taurus and a Virgo. A judgment call is coming down on a Virgo. And I see a Taurus is trying to get away from this situation. And I see a Libran is going to be telling that a Taurus is also involved in this situation. And I see um, a whole lot of burdens for only the people that is collaborating and has collaborated with these people for the rest is going to be okay. So um, be aware, be on top of your game, be understanding, know exactly what is happening, communicate clearly because communication is the only thing that is going to be helping you guys out. And be um, aware of uh, what is happening and transpiring because uh, without the communication, um, you won't be able to resolve whatever the issues and the situation that is coming up because communication is and will have to be the key of um, you going forward. So be aware of this and understand that communication is the only thing that can get you out of whatever issue and situation is transpiring. I got to say um, to you guys, um, this um, reading is going to go further. However, um, if you would like to see the extended of this reading to see if changes is going to be coming up and how to deal with these people in this situation, you can um, use the link below this video in order to get to my channel. As you get to my channel, you can definitely download the readings, what is um, the extended I gotta say thank you so much. If this is your first time, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, the, there are weekly readings and bi-monthlies. Bi-monthlies comes up the 15th of the month. Weekly readings is every week. Um, you can find your sign under the fire sign people. Um, I gotta say um, namaste. I hope to see you on the other side. If not, take care.